All right. Okay, right, but right, right. so look, a lot of tournaments. A lot of tournaments. A lot happened. of tournaments the last two weeks. A lot of really cool, exceptional, you know, events happening. Very, very neat stuff going on here. I have four of them listed there, which is Red Bull Kumite, Texas Showdown, Northwest Majors, Kuwait Battle Royale, and I'm still missing stuff like Smash Summit 2 and the PAX East exhibition. Yeah. Right. But I've listed those four because those are the four that we went to, so we can talk about them a little bit more right. in detail. Okay. Well, so. Let's start with Red Bull Kumite, shall we? All right. Well, that was me and James in yeah, Paris, wow. which was pretty sick. I hadn't been there since uh, 2004 mm -hmm. um, when I studied there. And I, I hoped that some of my friends would come back, but it was like... Oh. Little, <laughs> I saw your bit, tweets. A little bit. Yeah. Nothing great, I, let me tell you. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. We didn't really have that much time to do things outside of the tournament because it was just very hectic. But uh, we did cool. get to see the Eiffel Tower, though. Oh, that's cool. sick! That's yeah, you cool. kind of have to do that, right? Yeah, I saw. So I had, took some pictures of it, and you cannot, like, pictures just don't do it any yeah, justice. Yeah, that's true. So much I had my 3DS on me. I even tried taking 3D pictures with the. It didn't work Whoa. out very well. Yeah. It didn't work out yeah. very well. We saw Notre Dame and oh, oh, man. Notre Dame. Whatever. Yeah. I was about to say Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. That's what it is. Uh, and we saw we <laughs> is saw that like, really Notre Dame. No, of course. Well, I mean, it's, in a to us yokels, of oh, course. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay. No, no, that's just what we call the school. Okay. Notre Dame, because it's uh, in America. Right, right, right. right. It is school. Notre Dame because the way he yes. said Notre Dame was like I was this about is to how say, wrong people. So I'm say really it. that stupid. All right, <laughs> young guy on the panel here, got it. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Anyway, it was it was really cool. So the sightseeing was fun. Uh, yeah. We did a little bit of it. I even ate some escargot. Oh, wow. How was and that? And I feel like I got tricked, too, because the escargot had, it was in the shell. Oh. And mm -hmm. you ate the shell. You ate Whoa. the whole entire thing. And when I mentioned that to other people, they're like, I ain't never had no escargot with shell. I was yeah, about to say, yeah. we're eating the shell, too. <laughs> Count me out. Yeah. You can have <laughs> my shells. How about that? Honestly, it tastes like I was eating, like, uh, like mollusks. You know, like, like uh, oh. I was eating a mollusk. Uh, like, um, what, scallops. Scallops um, or oysters. Land scallops? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Basically, Basically they're it land is. scallops. It, that's just kind of what it Actually, tasted I like. I so. I literally thought what he was going to say was it tastes like snail. And I was going to be like, oh, yeah? That's, it. <laughs> I, that's what I thought he was going to say. I felt like it was, yeah. It was yeah, when I was a kid and I used to just pluck them off right. the ground, it tasted exactly like that. That's what like I thought that, that, that was going to go. Maybe. Yeah. Because it is. Yeah. No, but right. it, it was really cool. I was really yeah. happy to see. I mean, I... I so, I mean, people told me, that he was on Twitter, I was like, dude, I can see why people love this city. Mm. And a lot of people were like, it's nice to visit. Like, it's not as nice <laughs> to live there. Yeah, yeah they still stay you know, there. Uh, That's but, what I hear. I mean, I had a great time there. I had yeah, a lot of fun. for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, the event was, was pretty spectacular. It was, it was much more of a produced show mm -hmm. than usual. Like, we, there were rehearsals, and we had a meeting before we even left SoCal to go, you know, talk with Red Bull folks about how it was going to go right. and all that stuff. Okay. And, uh, once we got there, we had to like scope out the location and whatever. Mm. We had, ran through it a couple of times. Yeah, rehearsals. We did have wow. rehearsals. Yeah, yeah, and whole I, thing. Someone who will remain nameless flubbed it when we a went A little bit live. flubbed, but you know what? It Just ended kidding. up being all right. <laughs> uh, and you know, it was separate from the Twitch stream. So people watched. Most people, I'm sure, were watching the Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. Right. And we were on the Red Bull TV. Yeah. 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 Well, was call it like app or site or whatever you want to watch it on. Right. They just call it Red Bull TV. So uh, that's it's a separate thing. It wasn't Twitch. I don't know how many people saw it. it could be a lot or it could be almost not. I just have no. Yeah, we, have, right. we haven't found right. out. Yeah, the so. coolest part. I mean, like there was. It was really interesting. So for example, Gutex was there. Uh, Denise was there. And uh, yeah. they even did like a pre-show thing, like let's check out the fighting game community in Paris. And yeah. it was them walking through the streets. They met up with. That's Luffy. actually pretty they cool. They met up with Kayani. They went to like. Uh, Luffy's like training, er, like training facility kind Whoa, of thing okay. where he plays. Like, just like whatever like the land center is. Yeah. yeah uh, so it was really cool that they did a lot of that stuff. That's really sick. Yeah, that awesome. yeah. sounds really. Cool. It was cool. awesome. It was a really nice show. Um, but uh, and and I, I don't know if you guys watched it at all, but the the we definitely watched yeah, it. Let me tell I, you I, what, I, how how easily that was viewed for you folks. Oh no, it was fine. It was it was. Fine. Let me tell because we were watching grand finals. He's laughing because he knows where this is going. We were watching grand finals in a hotel room, uh -huh. like him and I, because we didn't have commentary during that time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we were watching and like Tokido like tied it up two two or something like that. Mm -hmm. And this dude got a pillow and <laughs> swung it at me like eight times, and he was like, "Did you see the jump right there into the convert?" And he slapped me like eight times, and I'm just like. 
ducking like this. And like, because you know, there's two beds in the hotel and then mm -hmm. the, there's like the dresser here. Mm -hmm. So we have it propped up here. So I'm looking at it like this and all of a sudden, whap, like in the side <laughs> of the head. And he's like, did you see? That was the craziest thing. And then when Infiltration won. Oh my when, God. When Infiltration won. That was won, my hype. That, that, that right. was my <laughs> So Infiltration won and Sorry, I'm looking man. and I felt like the air. <laughs> And I looked up, and he was doing a flying body slam. <laughs> and he literally, boom, body slammed me like that. And he leapt up and was like, how oh, the fuck is he so good? Like, <laughs> he just started going nuts. And I'm like like this, hoping I don't die, you know? And then he swung the pillow, and then he ran around the room, and then I was like, yeah, that was Red Bull Coon. Yeah. That was pretty good. You know, that's how you know it was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how you know it was good. I mean, we were, we were in the venue. You know, we weren't commentating until the top four, so we were just watching it. Uh, oh, yeah, and, uh, and, like, I was there with, watching with Gutex, and he and I were jumping. Like, yeah. really, like especially round one when it was Tokido Daigo. And then there was, was a double crazy. KO on that the first crazy. match. That was I legit out of blacked out for a second. I was like, for real, these guys. Yeah, are... yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, <laughs> that was that was incredible. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, the venue, the production, really nice they had crazy venue. lights. You know, even it was it was it's like okay. So don't Super get me wrong sports. here. I'm gonna say Super one thing, duper. right? I, I really like the production value of it, but. I don't think it's the right thing for big tournaments. Oh yeah, but for oh, yeah. an exhibition. Oh yeah, for like a little great. sixteen man. Yeah, yeah. Well, an exhibition. They, yeah, because they even had like all the little video screens of them coming up. You could record who's in top sixteen ahead of time, so you can get the versus screens. You know, like they did on stream and everything. So for exhibitions, it's perfect. Yep. Like exhibitions, awesome. if more exhibitions can get to that production level, that would be great. But, you know, it's not a necessary thing, I don't think, just yet. And it wasn't like the tournament was just, like, pretty and the matches sucked. Like, the matches were really good. Yeah. I don't know what was in the water in Paris, but, like, man, <laughs> no, the matches were, were so bro. good. It was some cr Big Bird, dude. Big Bird yeah, so yeah. sick. Well, let's, let's, go the, let's go through the okay. okay. places. Okay. My, my tablet just died, so oh, your tablet I forgot died. to charge it. Dude, this room, I'm telling you, is, like, the, the, machi the, the machine it. killer. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so let me go to the. I Red mean, Bull you've Kumite. been home a day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the results for the Red Bull Kumite. Okay, so 16 players invited. So the open qualifier to get the last two spots, uh, Valmaster and Big Bird made it there, and Big Bird, of course, from UAE, mm -hmm. visiting there to try to get in there, and sure enough, he got in. He didn't just get in there. Let's get into the results yeah. here. Tied for 13th place. So these are the guys who went 0-2, unfortunately, were Luffy. Uh, and Valmaster, who was one of the qualifiers, Snake Eyes, and Punko. So the Red Bull boys were out first. Yeah, pretty much, except yeah. for one. Bonchan made yeah. it kind of far. So. Yeah. Uh, tied for ninth place were Daigo, didn't even make top eight. Yeah. Uh, Sien, Alyun, and Kaoma. Kaoma. Yeah. yeah. And it's really interesting because we'll see where Big Bird places later, but I kept saying that Big Bird was the Kaoma of the tournament. Oh. And mm. even though Kaoma was in the tournament, yeah, right. yeah it's just kind of sad. Uh, seventh place was tied with Gamer B and Justin Wong. Mm -hmm. Fifth place tied with Momochi, and there's where Big Bird lands. Right. So he tied for fifth place. Fourth place was Red Bull's Bonchan. Mm -hmm. Third place, Kazunoko. Second place, Tokido. And first place, Infiltration. That's right. Grand finals was Tokido and Infiltration again. again. So again. I saw a tweet like right after it, and it said Nash has a lot of bad matchups. Infiltration does not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm a hundred percent in agreement with that. hundred yeah. percent. I was talking about like the match, and I was like, I honestly don't think Nash is like super super duper strong. Uh -huh. But when your opponent makes every right choice. <laughs> It doesn't he, really he, matter he, who they he play. Kinda, he kind of eclipses yeah. whoever he's playing. If you make like all the right choices always, it doesn't matter who you play. Yeah, and and it's interesting because we were talking to a bunch of the players at Red Bull Kumite. Name your top four characters. Name your top. We five were doing the same thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Nobody had Nash up there. See, very few <clears throat> people had Nash up there. It was almost always Ryu, Chun, Ken, and Nakali. Everybody oh, yeah. had those, but then I think a lot of people had Nash. Kind of as the fifth one. Yeah. So right? yeah. Uh -huh. So I've, I, when I was at Texas Showdown and these other places. Um, I even asked, uh, I asked Valle, mm -hmm. I asked uh, PR Rod, yeah. uh, Kelvin Gion, um, mm -hmm. all these guys. And a bunch of those guys believe, with the exception of a few, that Nash is top five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. Valle believes really, it's for sure, mm -hmm. and a couple of others. Like, who, sure. Julio thought, thinks that Nash okay. is really okay. strong. Yeah. Eduardo does not. Yeah. 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 Eduardo. I mean, the one person that I know who really thought Nash was like top three was Sien. But when we were talking to Sien, he's like, I played like 300 matches with Infiltration. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I won 20 of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I can understand why Sien thinks so. But, I mean, look, 
that's the cool thing about this game. Every character is super good. It's right really now. tough to yeah. figure out who well, is bad. And, and yeah. another thing, it kind of rolls over, and I, it, it kind of rolls over into the fact that we we basically get kind of like the KI model. We get altering tier lists because each month, well, around each month, maybe a month and a half, yeah. we get a new character. Right. Kind of right. mixes yeah. it up a little That's bit, yeah. and it kind of fluxes all the matchups. Right. Um, and I've just now, even like today, I got to play like a bunch of Giles, mm -hmm. oh, and nice. yeah, I got to play like a bunch of Giles because they were everywhere. Right. And I'm looking at this character, and I'm not looking at my life bar. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, I just got stunned. I only have 40% life. What the hell just happened? <laughs> like, and I was like, why am I getting stunned? You know? And I feel like the way that he plays is new to Street Fighter V. Yeah. So I'm really, like, at first I was like, I don't care about Gal. Then I saw him, I'm like, oh, he looks cool, but he's probably going to play lame. And now I'm like, Wow, he actually plays pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah. did so, you, I mean, did you see the video that Chris G tweeted out? About I tweet. Himself? I had to contact him. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, to personally say, "Yo, dude, you're pretty good." All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry for Blockbuster right. John, but yeah. Chris G. Got oh, that was Blockbuster. That was Blockbuster John. <laughs> oh, I don't think I knew that. Yeah. Oh, now you know. Okay, Everybody, okay. let Blockbuster John know how much you Dang. appreciate him being comboed oh, man. by the godlike <laughs> Chris G. But the funniest thing really cool. too is that, like, uh, again from Cien, he was saying that Guile could actually throw a huge wrench in his Fang play, in his Fang play. Because yeah. he says that Guile blows up Fang. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Easy. Because the thing is, when you watch him play against other Shotos, he would throw out Ryo Benda and then throw out Poison. And if Ryu threw a Fireball, the Ryo Benda would yeah. counter it. Right. But Guile can V-skill Sonic Boom, and now mm. it just blows right through oh, him. And so all of a sudden he can't zone as well against him. So. Well, and, and, and that kind of plays into the part where a lot of people say, and we keep talking about this, we keep coming back to it, that Fang is not that good of a character. Right. And I just feel like there's going to come a time, mark my words, somebody's going to be, whether it's an Evo or another tournament, somebody's yeah. going to be like, yo, what happened? Yeah, I lost to some guy's Fang. And, it's gonna, <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, we're going to get like a top eight and it's going to be a fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? I also, let me say. I think I want that to happen. I think that character has a good ceiling. It's yeah. just not going to happen with Zangief. So. No. Probably not. With I think that character <laughs> sucks. Probably not with Zangief. Yeah. 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 I still don't think he sucks. I think that he doesn't get blown up in most matchups. But I don't really think that he, like, wins matchups either. It's, yeah. It's I, weird. By sucks, I mean I think he's, like, a one of the worst characters. Yeah. He's, yeah. like, bottom three, yeah. But he yeah, still yeah, can sure. win, though. That's I, no, yeah, that's he's definitely I think he's always in the running. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. he's that bad because I feel like... No matter what character he faces, it only takes one. Mm -hmm. And you're on right. tilt. You're like, oh my god, how did he get in? Right. One air SPD, you get immediate yeah, wake yeah. up. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, things like that always alter it. But like, let's just say you throw in, you know, an infiltration who does not make those mistakes right. as frequently then, as, you know, yeah. Joe yeah. Ho-Hum. Right. You know? <laughs> And that guy's pretty good, though. Yo, Joe Ho-Hum is legit. Yeah. Is Look him up. Yeah. That guy's got Not, not yeah. as good as Gandhi. But, you know, <laughs> but, uh, Joe Ho-Hum is pretty good. Uh, I mean, look, I, I say that about Zangief knowing full well that I do by far the best using Zangief. Like, I win more, more matches with Zangief than I do any other character. The character fits you. And I really like using him. But even well. saying that, I can recognize that, you know, if I start running into the opposite of Joe Ho-Hum, that I probably wouldn't be doing very well. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Not taking anything away from Joe Hohan. <clears throat> you guys got like. But yeah. But look, there was a cami third place, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. character's real good, I think. Oh, I think gosh. so too. I think she's, so too. She's good. Huh? I really do think so. And I, I think, think he's like, so good. He's starting to figure it out. I yeah, think. For he's, sure. He's for getting sure. real close. I mean, he did. He did really well in another tournament too. That we'll we'll talk about later. Right? Look at James. <laughs> so you, you, we, don't, you don't even have to respond, James. No, How don't. How about the Kens? <laughs> there are a couple of Kens higher. I there. me me and him. I don't want to look at him because he might hurt me. Yeah. We had this long conversation about how good I thought Cami was. Yeah, I'm trying to and I was out. like, he, she is so good about. And James is like, she's terrible, <laughs> yeah, blah blah. Yeah. And I'm like, where do you have her? And he's like, maybe fifth. And I'm like, you've been saying how bad she is for like an hour and a half, and you have her as like the fifth best. No, I said sixth or seventh. I said. Oh, sixth now or seventh. it's it's even lower now. Okay. Yeah, I said sixth like, or seventh. Uh, I did not I mean, put that, her. That could be, but I think that she's really good. I think, I think she's, she's really good. good. I think I would put her in like the same spot, but yeah, say me too. She's really good. That, that's the thing. I was like, yeah, she's really good, but we have her in the same spot, and he's like. Shit, what? I hear it. I hear it. No, no, because the thing is, I hear from so many people that are saying Cammy's like top three. Like, oh, she's I don't think that's 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 like, oh, she's so good. She's and that's what I don't get. She's, she's so good though. Not. See, like I she actually is. feel like a character like Karen does everything Cammy wants, but better. oh no, definitely not. I don't ah, agree with that. No, I don't no, agree no. with that. Although, like, I'll, Justin thinks that Karen yeah, yeah, is top three. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe. 
Yeah. I think for Justin, she's top three because of what she controls. Dude, Justin, Justin, Justin doesn't need to yeah. jump. Oh, like, yeah. he legit could be like, yeah. well, I'm going to walk forward, and I know what you're going to do, so I'm just going to hit medium kick, and here we go. Yeah. And, like, and, and that's what yeah. starts Dude, the right. snowball. Justin you know? shimmies from so oh. far away. Dude. It boggles my mind. He shimmies from, like, half screen. Yeah. He has the, his shimmies are the most painful They're pretty well ones. practiced. You know, like he's when, been doing that for a long time. Well, yeah. Yeah. When they Since connect, they strike. hurt the yeah. most. He's been doing that. I saw him. So he hit JC. With the triple shimmy, and I was like, he did that wake was up shimmy. Up. He used shimmy as That's his big. own thing, right? right. <laughs> so he hit JCS with triple shimmy, but this weekend he did the quadro. Like mm. it was four in and outs. And then they finally gave in. Yeah, and he got him, uh, and I that's what like, I mean. His patience is uh, ridiculous. He will dance in front of you like in and out. In and out. it's like, what are you supposed best. to do? I'm not hit a button. Like that's the yeah. thing that makes oh, me lose my mind. He's very impressive for sure. Yeah, it's and it's like from mad far. He's like outside of his low forward range. Yeah, I'm like how? How well, does that anything happen? else about Red Bull? I mean, look, a lot of people. I mean, this is probably a topic we'll probably get into after we go through all the results. But Ken and Nikali seem to be becoming very frequent in, they do. in these in these top they eight. Because Big Bird, Momochi with Ken, Gamer B with Nikali, all of them up there as well. So I, once again, I've been talking to all these players, and and I think it's kind of like a general thing, where the more and and, and one of the people I had this conversation with more exclusively was Nerd Josh. Mm. Um, Nerd Josh is a tech monster. And yeah. He, and, oh, yeah, yeah. And he was, we were talking and he says, people don't realize, they realize it but they don't understand that the more kins there are, the quicker that blow up is going to be. Oh, like, well, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. one of those things that we're going to have so much to pull from, to punish and learn from that it, even if Ken is super good, it's still going to be like kind of scrub hammer level but on the same note, like, We'll get to see who's really good. Right, because uh, he's going to be the character that everyone's going to learn how to beat. Mm -hmm. There's too many. Because characters. there's so many of yeah. them, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, right. if you want to talk about Ken's, we should probably talk about the Texas show. Yeah, we should oh, switch yeah, to yeah, Texas. Yeah, let's go to Texas. That's where we were <clears throat> while you guys were off in Narnia. We were back in the <laughs> homeland uh, in Texas. Oh, or oh, Texas Showdown. Yeah. There's a lot of games that took place there, but let's just do Street Fighter V first. first. Yeah. Uh, let's just do top eight here. So okay. top eight uh, in seventh place was Rylander with Dalsum. Right. You know where Rylander's from? I, I think, think he's, he's a local. He's just a local yeah. Texas player. Okay. PXG Ice with M Bison in seventh place. Yo, we were watching a lot of PXG Ice. He's he's yeah. really ridiculous. Shout really out to Ice and PXG because Ice is really good. Oh man. So those characters were Dalsum and Bison. And those are the only non-other characters in the top eight. Oh, okay. oh my god, you're right. If you okay. look, you'll see so what I mean. So fifth place is Sien with Nikali and Alucard with Nikali and a little birdie. He played a birdie against Wolkrum. Okay. Uh, fourth place was BOTB Vagabond with Nikali. Yep. Third place was Panda TV's Jawa, Dark Jawa, with, uh, with Ken. Ken. Second place was PR Balrog with Nikali and a little Vega. He played Vega one game. Yeah. And then first place... Using the lifeline, Julio the Ken. And I was there for yeah, that. It was so, hilarious. So, yeah, just in it case, was so good. Just in case you guys didn't realize, that was Bison and Dalsum, and then every other person played Nikali or Ken. Yeah. Three Nikalis, two Ken. Yeah. 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 Mm. It, it was like, we watched like three to four mirrors in a row. Yeah. But all the matches were ridiculous. They were real. Like, good. Okay. I, never good. Thought, I never thought that I would be, be able to sit through those matches and still <laughs> sit. No, I'm, like, I'm one of those people. I'm like... I need that aesthetic of be like, yo, you got to right, give me right, something uh, new. Uh, but yeah. they played so, it was such a unique, like, taste of each character, mm, okay, what okay. they were going for. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it gives you a different level okay. of perception I mean, for I, the I've said, I've said that about this game, is that because the game is so much less set play and so much more about reads and everything like that, you can really express your personality through the character yeah, much yeah. better. This is much, true. much better. This is true. And it really makes it so it's that much more important to find the right character for you. Mm -hmm. right? uh -huh. And so, I mean, just because I'm fully admitting it, it's the only reason why I can't use Cammy is because she's just not made for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. At all. Not your character. It happens. All, Agreed. Right? And that, I mean, that'll happen. Like, you'll see a character and you'll be like, this is like the coolest looking character ever. And then it's like the exact opposite. Well, of I mean, like, there was nothing cool about her, the way she looked in this game. I just wanted to play her because everyone said she's good and she's she's my bae, right? Right. So, oh, man. <laughs> you know, but, she's my bae, right? Uh, but, like, no, no, no. It's very cool looking. It didn't, Not it didn't, cool -looking didn't work out very well. So Cosmo like, makes her look cool looking. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still think K Brad has the best cami. Really? Mm, I, I think, think Kazunoko is a better player, 
But I think K. Brad has a better. Oh yeah, cameo. oh yeah. Like, like he really feel he's he's so in tune with that character. Yeah, like, button wise, he's I, playing Cammy. You know what I mean? Kazunoko is being a really good player using Cammy. I, I, I think his Cammy is there now, though. I, I don't. It's I don't, getting there. It's, it's getting there. It's right but there. I, I it's feel right like there. Cammy is is still young. Like I still I, like. No, I, I feel like I, I don't feel like she's young, man. I don't really, I disagree yeah. with that. She cannot be used crazy at all. Like the more crazy. No, no, I, I think that's that's the trade off. I feel like she's young in the aspect that like she still occupies that space. The space that she occupies is almost the exact same as young. In my personal opinion, I, I personally feel that she's third strike Ken. Really? Yeah. I can kind of see that. I can see that. I think she's Street Fighter Five Cammy. Yo, okay. you are the deepest That's one. That's some meta, man. Yeah, I thought I'd yeah. bring it out. Yeah. Okay. By the way, okay. I'm going to start picking her up. She's my new character. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because mm -hmm. David's tired of listening to me whine about You're going to play Geef, and that, he's going to well, play he, I mean, he plays Geef anyway, but yeah, right, right. I, I, uh, I just want to see how it goes. You know, yeah, I think she's yeah. really good, but I want to, like, learn it myself. Right. Yeah. That's okay. what I'm doing with Nikali, actually. Mm -hmm. I just started playing him because I was like... This character's doing so well, and I think he's so good. I should yeah. try it yeah. to make sure. So, but I do want to ask, what, what, how was PXG's Isis Bison? Because I know a lot of people are saying Bison's no good these days. It was really good, I thought. So I actually really well. even watched him play in uh, one of the uh, in the PXG suite, uh -huh. and he were play he was playing uh, money matches. Uh -huh. Now I'm looking at this guy play, and I'm just like, uh, it's not that people they weren't checking him. It was just the fact that some of the spacing that he used while he plays is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like, you're like, hey, I'm going to check his scissors kick this time with jab. But apparently he stepped back far enough to where he just hits you right on the end and then he pulses. Uh, yeah. And you're like, oh, crap. So then you stop checking him. And he's like, yo, thanks, throw. And I'm like, oh, man. And he wants he wants you to hit buttons in, the, in that range. Okay. And he does it so well. <laughs> and you see him jumping around. You're like, man, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, God, that's yo, man. <laughs> you know, like that's kind of how it plays out. But yeah, Ice is really okay, good. I'm super yeah. And I see a lot of talk about Bison and he's bad at approaching, but I think he just has so many options and you just have to mix them up between Dash and Devil's Reverse and Scissor Kick and Down Forward Fierce. Like, covering all those options at once is really hard, I think. It's still weird Ice because... pretty good to me still. When I play online, it's the crazy Bison players that I have a harder time beating yep. than the smarter Bison you know, it's players. internet play. Right, yeah. but I mean, it's just because Bison has like seven ways of approach that it makes it hard for me to predict and when they're just like randomly tossing the dice at scissor kick or head stomp mm -hmm. or whatever, I feel like that makes it harder. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, well, playing reactively is hard yeah. online. It's sure. really okay, hard. That's so that's, that's, that's why true. I think yeah. that's, yeah. yeah. Playing reactive style is hard it's, it's hard in that game in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Street Fighter Five is hard. It's got input lag. Right? I really think a that's a big part of it. And it has the that. most input lag of any Street Fighter Yeah, yeah that's brutal. It's been man. chronicled. Uh, a lot of people, Forward's already done tests with that. They said like it's like eight frames of input yeah. lag. Which is why things like Nash dash up throw is so hard to stop. All dash up throw. EX dolphin yeah, all dive all with birdie, like you see it and you like try to get away. And yeah, you, yeah. Have, you have seven, eight frames to react to most dashes. That's mm -hmm. it. And I think it was Tool Assistant who pointed out that uh, Nash's dash, when he starts, Nash actually stays in place yep. for the first four frames and then he starts moving. Yep. So four of those frames, it doesn't look like he's going anywhere yet. So, and so reacting is that much harder. It kind of reminds me of playing Injustice where you just have to like do a move and buffer it, hoping they dash. Yeah. Like you just are yeah, looking yeah, to yeah, intercept yeah. dashes. Mm -hmm. exactly. But you like, see now, people, they're reacting to dashes even with just any button. Yeah. Like, especially, and I think I can attribute this to Ken. Like, people are looking at Ken and they're like, oh, he's moving, button. And, right. like, I'm seeing people actually get, yeah. not even, like, full-blown taken advantage of, but they get hit right. while dashing. All right. right, well, see how it goes. Well, they have Killer Instinct listed second here. So they sure did, because so it was the second most answered game. Was it? Nice. At Texas Showdown? That's oh, awesome. that's great sure to hear. Uh, seventh place was Water Horses with Glacius. I remember seeing him at uh, KI World Cup. He was a last chance qualifier and beat base, the number one seed first yeah, round. Yeah, at, wow. at the KI World Cup. And he made right? top eight yeah. at World Cup, too. Mm -hmm. Rico Suave at eighth. I mean, tied for seventh with Fulgore and Omen. His, uh, his razor stick died on the first day. So he borrowed Water Horses razor stick, Man. and then that died during the top oh, eight. So a on. second razor stick died. It was rough times for the uh, Mr. Suave. It was not good. Rough Easy. times for that company too. Man. Jeez. Yeah, uh, man. Well, it, was, it was brutal. He right. played full gore and omen, and we played some casuals, and that was fun. <laughs> wow, what happened? He beat him. Nothing. I don't know. You it was know? good times. Why yeah. are you smiling so hard though? I don't know. Are you like leading this? Up? Anyways, fifth place. Back fifth to place later. was Fire Liga with Rip Tor. So good. Nice. Nah, he's got Fire Liga. He was up. He was destroyed. I was front row. Right. He was destroying people. <laughs> so, so he had the unfortunate curse of winners top eight, zero and two. 
But he had a three. Oh. He had a three-two set against base that was yeah. super close. That. That was it cool. was really good. So this this was the top eight that everyone was saying was like super high. Oh, yeah, dude, it was sick. crazy. Yeah, it was really I didn't even I know what was it. going on, and it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you will once we all get oh, together yeah. and play some Again, KI. So. Soon. Um, fifth place was also Shin Tristan with Thunder and Tusk. You could just scratch out Tusk. Yeah, the Tusk okay. was not there, man. No, I definitely. Oh, not. I remember. Yeah, yeah, we were watching. But his Thunder is good. His Thunder is good. Yeah, he's yeah. got some new fun stuff. That's for sure. Yeah. Fourth player was Raven is Raw with Spinal. I think he's sort of an underdog. Like not a lot of people talk about him, but yeah, he's a really, really good Spinal okay. player. I think. Third place was UA My God with Saberwolf. Consistent as it gets. Mm -hmm. Second place UA Base with Spinal and Cinder. That's my boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And first place, F3, Hollywood Sleep Hollywood. with Glacius, Arya, and Arbiter. So what what happened is like the usual counterpick swap between mm -hmm. Sleep and Base where like, you know, against Spinal, Sleep will play Arya. And then to counterpick Arya, Base will play Cinder. And to counterpick Cinder, he played Arbiter or Glacius. Okay. So okay. they went back and forth, back and forth. Most of the grand finals was Arbiter versus Cinder. Oh, cool, okay. Which was pretty fun to watch. But yeah, yeah they, had, cool. they had a 3-2 winner's finals, a 3-2 reset, and a 3-2 set after the reset. Mm, dang. So it was like dang. super close. It was really close. good. Yeah, sure. it was really good. Okay, okay. All right. I need to go watch the arc. I, I need to go watch the Arbiter Kai's of that. Oh, my God. Okay, got so me there. Guil Guil so Guilty Gear Exert Revol Revelator. I can't even... Called it Revelations. Just call, Revelations. say some more Arbiter. You yeah. can say that. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, seventh... Fifth place was Secret with Leo and Donovan with Eno. Uh, fifth place was uh, Silent with Bedman, some dude named A.S. Tasty Steve with that Leo. That guy must have been sucky. Yeah. Fifth place? <laughs> Only fifth. Only fifth. Fourth place, Kid Viper. Kiddo Viper <laughs> with Johnny. Oh, he's using Johnny now. Uh, so the thing okay. is about it, so the thing is, I'm looking at Kid Viper play. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And at any point in time can make the switch to say, you know what? I'm done with this. I want to win. I'm going to play Elfo. Mm. But no. Oh, Said okay, he was going to okay. stick. And he was like, look, I want to play Johnny. So okay. no matter what, okay. I'm going to run Johnny, not mm -hmm. Elfo. And I was like, yo, that's actually pretty sick. Like, the fact that he committed to that at a tournament. And he lost in, like, winners, like, the winners top eight. And the guy popped off. Yeah. Super hard. Kinsu, actually, yeah. the guy oh, that got third. So okay, hard. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Off. Super okay. Super wow. hard. And it was like really, like, I was like, that's, he's playing like a brand new character. But yeah. like, I guess there's I mean, something probably there. big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's probably some history. Yeah, some inner for workings. Sure. For sure. Yeah. But uh, Kenso actually got third place with Chip. He always plays all the ninjas. Yeah. yeah. He's been, and he's a, he's a long time guy. I've been yeah. talking to this guy he's for old school years mm -hmm. about Guilty Gear oh, playing yeah, yeah. Chip. So he's he, classic. He was one sure. of the old school, like back when Texas Showdown yep. first existed. Yeah, he was yeah. one of those strong guys. Yeah, from a Texas. decade ago, 12 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I mean, he won a Guilty Gear tournament where a lot of the, the, the big guys went there and like, it was like one of those big, like, yeah, yeah. go Texas things. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, second place was TDG Oso with Elfelt. That's the second time. Hold on. Also, I swear to God, that's the last time you beat me in tournament. Oh All right, my go ahead. God. Uh, that's 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 on my life. Never again. Oh my you will God. not beat me in tournament. Man. Go ahead. We, we never on did this life, on Ultra man. Ten Chen TV before because we never There's played. Threats. Right? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. First place Jeez. was TX Tex Txert, I guess. Texert. Texert. Yeah. Uh, with faulty defense using Sin Kiske. And uh, Sin is so cool. The thing is. So this is my first time at at a Texas Showdown, and I liked it. Yeah, so um, yeah it's a cool tournament. Especially when it comes to like the Guilty Gear, like the Guilty Gear side of it was really good because a lot of these guys, like I've known, like Donovan's a NorCal guy, a Secret, he's like a Texas guy. I saw Silent last year at CEO, and he's really good. Kid Vipers a mainstay. Um, like I said, I've known Ken Su. I saw also at a final round. And it's my first time seeing faulty defense playing Sin. Mm. And you have to remember, this is Revelator. So it is still a, a little adjustment going on. But all in all, like really good, solid matches. Um, okay. Really good matches. Yeah, I, I really wish I could have watched a lot more of the Guilty Gear stuff. It so. was really good. Especially Gotta I want to see some Kid Viper Johnny because I need to. You should watch this weekend's Guilty Gear from Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kid Viper uh, was there with Johnny again. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. okay. This mm. past weekend. Yeah. yeah. I thought Majors. you meant this coming weekend because something's no. coming up this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> something's coming up this That's weekend. True. We'll talk about it in a little yeah. bit. Okay. So, but because, yeah. I mean, look, Johnny, every time I watch Johnny, like I was watching Cutting Through Johnny, I, I don't even know what he's doing. 
like seriously, he touches the character and everything leads into a combo with like 17 coins and then they just die. Yeah. I was actually talking cool. I was talking so to a, so a bunch of players. He's actually like super buttonsy now. Like you're legit always hitting a button yeah. and looking uh, for that uh, hit. So you're like, uh, 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 you can't do anything. It's normal. Yeah. so far, yeah. man. Yeah. It's crazy. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that so, was excellent. Oops. Stop plugging in, I guess. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I just get? Mortal Kombat XL. Uh, seventh place was UA Royale with Cutthroat Kano and Cybernetic Kano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, VGP Ominous with Heavy Weapons Jax and Wrestler Jax. Right. Fifth place, UA Showtime with Demolition Sonya Blade. Uh, All three versions of Sonya. Oh, Sonya, Sonya, Sonya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fifth place was Lord Peanut with War God Kotal Khan. Right. Yeah. And he just got third at final round, too, so. Yeah, he's, he's oh, really nice. good. Okay. Yeah. Fourth was Cusco. With Covert Ops, Sonya Blade. Yeah, Texas yeah. is home of Sonya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He hadn't oh, figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he did he did really well last year too in, in uh, Texas Showdown. Yeah. Uh, third place was VGP Toki with War God Kotal Khan, Demolition, yeah. Sonya Blade, Grandmaster Sub Zero. Right, another Sonya. Second place VGP Cory the Dragon with Smoke Triborg, and Grandmaster Sub Zero. First place Scar with Hey Guess Who, Sonya. Demolition, Demo Sonya. Sonya. Yeah, Texas has tons of Sonya yeah. and Kotal. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They they have a lot of really good players down there. Yeah, that's for sure. It's a it's a good scene. Yeah, you know Texas has a big KI scene and a big MK mm -hmm. scene. Like those games are really big there. For sure. Apparently, cool. Exert too. So yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, Peanut's been playing War God Kotal since day one. Yeah. Day one of the first version. Yeah. And he's I mean he's been doing well the whole time, but you know especially lately he's really again, stepped it up. Again, look, the last couple of years we came back from Texas Showdown. All we ever did was talk about how Texas used to be one of the centers of fighting games. That's true. You know. Back before, like, you know, 2002, 2003, that era, Texas was like one of the big four hotspots. It was, right? yeah. So, Cal North Cal, so many people playing. Texas, New York area, and then also the Midwest, like Chicago area. But um, Texas was a big powerhouse. So, it's, it's hearing all these guys stepping up and getting yeah. better, and Texas Showdown probably got even bigger than it was last year. You know, I'm sad that we didn't get to go this year because, yeah. again, it's one of the ones I support. It's run mm. by Javi, who's super old school in the scene and everything. So, and right. Javi's really nice. Shout out nice to Javi. Yeah. Um, shout out to yeah, the entire Javi's FTC te uh, Texas scene because I, I had a great time. Yeah, in Texas. it was a blast. Dude. Yeah, it was really good. Unknowingly, they hired Ultra Chen anyway, even though you guys. Haha, <laughs> 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 uh -huh, jokes on you guys. They thought you didn't get Ultra Chen? Oh, look at that. But uh, yeah, it was such a sick event. It I had a really I had a ton of fun okay. the whole weekend. Text everybody was really friendly. Yeah, yeah. The food is good. It was a mm, great yeah. time. Yeah, that place exactly. has good food. Yeah, yeah, yeah the food was sure. out of control. It was, Houston solid. I missed the part. A lot of good yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it was good times for sure. I got I got some ribs from Rudy's. Woo wee. Yeah. Man, like all the food I've had there is good. The ribs, yeah. obviously, Tex, barbecue, Tex -Mex, but also yeah, yeah, Mexican the, food is the really Mexican good. Mexican food's good. Like they have really good Vietnamese food. They have. A lot we of went really to a there. South African restaurant. Oh, oh that my was god, like, out, ah. dude, it was food so. Food came out good. on a pendulum. It was crazy. It was yeah. It was on a pendulum, <laughs> and we were like, the gravity was like affecting it and I was like I'll this show is you the a picture most beautiful later. thing I'll show you guys a picture okay, okay. it was okay. really good uh, okay anyways Melee it's going to take us like 17 hours to get through all these events yeah, uh, right Melee 7th place Space Water with Jigglypuff 7th place Knock with uh, Captain Falcon 5th place SJKF with Falco 5th place Pax with Fox 4th was Stripes with Sheik 3rd was Cloud with Falco Fox 2nd ALP with Fox and 1st Mojo with Fox I think this was the same weekend as Smash Summit, so I think most yeah. of the players were gone. Yo, but uh, Stripes, Sheik is poofed. Okay. Poofed. Out of control. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was Ultra Street Fighter 4. Seventh place with Brent is Cool with Rolento and Rufus. Jewel Man with E Honda. Fifth place was El Cubano okay. Loco with Vega and Young. And fifth place was also PR Balrog, Evil Ryu, Yun, and Elena. Fourth, Cast Blanca with Blanca. Third place, Wolf Chrome with C Viper. Second place, B Saida with Evil Ryu and Ken. First place, New York Chris G with Sakura and Evil Ryu. Right. There you go. Cool. That was Texas Showdown. Any last thoughts on Texas Showdown that you want to talk about? Um, the, oh, the, the layout of the tournament, right? So even though there were two different streams, 
the main stage had the two main streams playing side by side. Oh, so the stage cool. had Level Up here and PXG was on this side and mm -hmm. all the matches were played there. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have to turn this way to look at a match. It was oh, legit. That's cool. Both of them were here. That and makes then, a lot of sense. Yeah, and, and I told really them sick. it was one of the most like comprehensive yeah. designs I had seen for a while. Yeah, so. yeah, in person it was really good. Okay. It was really cool. good, yeah. Cool. Uh, also that weekend was another exhibition yep. event, yeah. which was at PAX East, mm -hmm. which was a Twitch produced uh, event. I think Mike Ross kind of just put the thing together and uh, invited eight players to go out there and compete in a round robin format. Uh, those players were, and I'll just list them in order of the places that they finished, and because it was round robin, there's no ties, so this is just straight mm. up eight through one. Uh, eighth place was TA Moons with M. Bison and Rashid. Uh, seventh place was L.I. Joe with Nash. Uh, sixth place, <laughs> what? Nothing. Sixth place was Flash Metroid with Vega and Armika. Fifth place, T.S. Arturo Sanchez with Dalsim. Fourth place, Marn with Armika. Third place, K. Brad, E.G.'s K. Brad with Cami. Second place, E.G. Ricky Ortiz with Chun Li. And first place, Liquid Knuckle Dew with Nash and Armika. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get to watch too much of this, but part of what I did watch was Knuckle Dew Mika. going down. 2-1 to, to Marn's Mika, oh, and then he so counterpicked good. Mika with Mika. It was so good. And he won. That, that was the most so well. Knuckle Doo yeah. thing to <laughs> ever happen. Like, shout outs to Knuckle Doo. Yeah. I mean, Marn, you're good. But the fact that he can't take off those glasses and put them back yeah. on makes him such a threat. Because yeah. then he's going to be like, oh, I can't blow you up. I'm going to pick your character. Yeah. And now I'm going to blow you Dude, up. And he, I'm like, oh. He, he picked Mika, and it was like, it was pretty convincing. It was super convincing. Yeah, it was like... Yeah, Marty oh. even posted on Twitter afterwards that he like didn't really know what to do. <laughs> Man, on. that character's broken. <laughs> These was... are like, no wonder I'm winning. <laughs> it was so sick. But uh, it, I, was, I watched... I wasn't able to catch all of it, and yeah. I haven't been able... Because we've been traveling a lot to catch Same. up on the, mm -hmm. the actual archives of it. But the matches that I did see... They, like I said, they were really touch and go. Um, it, I'm, I'm really like the the round robin format in in exhibitions like this because I got to see all of that play oh, out. Oh yeah, for sure. yeah. Uh, so yeah, definitely cool it, something to definitely go back and, and double check. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad because Li Joe and Moons, the two Li representatives, getting seventh and eighth place. But you know what? I've been seeing that uh, yeah. Li Joe was getting like second place and first place at a lot of recent tournaments. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And Moons made some, believe it or not, even though he got eighth, Moons was doing some crazy stuff in his matches. Like mm -hmm. he was like, he's he, like I said, it's definitely something to check out. All right, yeah. cool. I just want to watch all these events. I can never decide. Same. All right, anyways. Same. Uh, also happening that weekend was a Capcom ranking event. Mm -hmm. in uh, Italy, Italy, Italy yeah. and because a lot of the European players went to Red Bull Kumite, wow. a lot of players are like, <laughs> three points. So they uh, ran over there and took some points. That's right. And uh, so seventh place was Ryan Hart with Ken, using, uh, oh, Prodigal Son, I should say, uh, using Ken. Seventh place was Mr. Crimson with Laura. Fifth place tied was BX3TP Link. Uh, well, that's the team. His name is Dupsko with Birdie, and then fifth place was also Perilous Affy with Laura. Fourth place was Perilous Pax with Karen. Third place, PXP Problem X with M. Bison. Second place, Melty's Kongster with Cami. Oh, I need oh, to check Kongster. that out. I need oh. to check that out. I need to mm -hmm. check that out. Uh, and first place, also BX3 TP Links, Phenom Sick. with Nikali and M. Uh, and M. Bison snuck in there. Got a I think 124 points. Woo! Man, I'm, it's big. I'm yeah. kind of upset. Now I'm, I definitely I'm going to go yeah, back and so watch this. I'm going to have to go back and watch yeah, it. Yeah, second place Cammy here, third place uh, Red Bull. Pretty Come good. What a good character. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did pretty well uh, last weekend as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Six or seven place, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't say she's bad. I didn't uh, say she's bad. I like how you squeeze the case. Uh, we didn't say anything, did we? No. Look, when know. I use her, she feels awful. Okay. Because it doesn't mm. fit me. And mm. I just that's why I keep playing her, because I want to see if I can figure out mm. how to make her good. Okay. So. Okay. And to be fair, when I came home after all the travels, and yesterday was supposed to be my lag catch-up day, Dude, after all that Street Fighter, I went online and played Street Fighter for like the oh, first time in a long time. I hear you. And I played Cammy and I actually did a lot better. Ooh. I actually did a lot better. Oh, I'm starting to understand okay. it. Okay. Okay. It's, 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 it's getting there. Yeah. It's getting there. All right. So. All right, so do you want to take a break before we go to the next weekend? Yeah, we got a lot of results. Actually, no, Smash Summit was that weekend as well. All right, just finish the weekend and then we'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Smash Summit invited players were Armada, Hungry Box, Mango, Axe. 
Plup, S. Fat, Shroom, the new two kings, Silent Wolf, West Balls, and the voted players were Esam, Pew Pew U, Ice, no, Pew Pew U, no, 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 he was there, okay, Ice, S2J, Duck, Duck was the one who replaced uh, one of the guys who couldn't make it anymore, and Wobbles. And so that one came out, with, um, tied for 13th was Esam, Pew Pew U, Wobbles, and Silent Fox, with Samus, Marth, Marth the Ice Climbers, and Fox. Tied for ninth was West Balls with Falco and Fox with the Spaceys and uh, Ice with Fox, Miom S2J with Captain Falcon and Duck with Samus. Tied for seventh was S Fat with Fox, Tempo Axe with Pikachu. Yeah. yeah. Fifth Pikachu place. Is so good. So cool. He's so excited. I just I'm like yo Axe is my dude. Yeah, yeah. Axe is yeah, so, so cool. To watch. That's like that's that's how I feel about Amsa's Yoshi. Like, really? That's how I get. Yeah, I get yo, I get, like, I get, like, I get the I thing for, about yeah. Melee is like I like so many of the top players in Melee. Like it's just like yeah. I like watching them play. Like I love Hungry Box, it's a personality. but I yeah, also really love Vago, cool. and then I love Armada. <laughs> like it's uh, they have really good personalities. So fifth place was Winter Fox Shroomed with Sheik and PG Plup with Sheik and Samus. Fourth place Mango with Fox. Third Dang. place Mewtwo King with Dang. Sheik, Fox, and Marth. Second place, Liquid Hungry Box with yeah, Jigglypuff. My man. First place, Armada with Peach and Fox. Yep, like Sick. always, Tokido got second in Infiltration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> Every event for those guys, uh, man. Second but, place I mean, hero. Someone actually pointed Hungry out... Hungry like, have been winning a lot, man. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. He's mm -hmm. been doing the well. only person I think he's lost to is Armada. Right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But um, it's, it's interesting. Someone in the chat pointed out that um, I guess if you don't count the secondary characters, like the, the top eight was Peach... Jigglypuff, like Marth, Fox, Sheik, Samus, oh, Fox, and Pikachu. So Fox is like the only repeated character in there. Mm, yeah. yeah, so. That's good. That's actually Fox pretty good. She, yeah, cool. Especially for Melee, which is another for one sure. of those top heavy dominated uh, yeah. games. So. Okay. Uh, but yeah, again, Hungrybox doing super well. He's on a roll. And I even talked to like D1 in Kuwait and stuff like that. And he said that, yeah, as, even though he's one of the gods, like Hungry Box has never played at this level before. Like something has just switched on. See, see, I think I'm pretty sure he put out like a tweet or something, and he was just like, "Yo, I'm like on fire right yeah. now." <laughs> and like, if you can feel yourself, be like, oh, "It's gotta be a good feeling." I'm yeah, nice, you know, yeah. right? God damn, I'm and, nice. And the funny thing is, all us, all us FGC people love him. Oh, yeah. And, like the Smash players hate his guts. Oh like, yeah, they cannot yeah, stand yeah. his place though. It's yeah. so fun because yeah. Smash has the Footsies. reputation of being a very fast and frenetic game, and they're like he slows the game down. I still so feel much, like he's but... fast and frenetic. By yeah. the way, I feel like he's not sitting on his ass. And oh, like he's right. constantly moving it's around. It's so much yeah. harder for him to deal with. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. I'm not gonna get into. He's it. trying to play footsies over there, right. and they're just like, no, I yeah. Can't. yeah, Fox is just like, okay, I'm in now because I wanted to be. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. now yeah. I'm not because that's what I wanted. Yeah. This is the way I play. So boring. I understand if you get hit, you die. Fine. Yeah, I was. So yeah. wait, you're gonna say that Fox isn't cool though? No, he not hates cool. Fox. Not he cool. what? Boop. Oh Dang. man. I like I like the space animals. Dislike. I'm I, I like all the space animals. I just don't like characters that have all the options. Yeah, that's yeah, so that's the problem right there. Is that Fox oh, okay. just basically gets that's so boring? I'm just mean. Even if they have like obvious aesthetically. Weaknesses. I mean, yeah, I know he has weakness. He yeah. gets okay. he dies, but mm. all right. It's like it's like with Seth. Like, was he perfect? No. But it's so boring. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, do you guys want to take a break and then we head to the next weekend? Then we head to the previous, this, this past yeah, weekend? This, this past Let's do it. Let's yeah. take a break okay, after okay. an hour plus. And, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's been an hour? Oh my oh, god. Yeah, man. It's yeah. been an hour yeah. 15. All right, we'll be back shortly. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Did you want to talk about the, the thing with the ads? Oh, so yeah. So basically the way that they have it set up now is that um, if you have subscribe, subscribe to the channel, you will not get ads. So in other words, if you subscribe to our channel, you won't get any ads. So while we're on break, we're just going to leave the mic on and just like completely just like talk about whatever. I mean, that's basically what we do anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so yeah. don't don't fret. We'll be back with more results from tournaments that this past Official this weekend yeah, too. Uh, right. But in the meantime, in the downtime, you get, you know, small rants, banter, yeah, exactly. David about... fart noises. Talking Talk about Civil, Civil War. War. Yeah, oh I was about to say, God. yeah, exactly. So, All right. okay, we'll be right back, guys. So, I'm going to mute it and then come right back. So. Let's go.